Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first session of the 2021 Community Tourism Spotlight Series. My name is Colin Heffernan, Economic Development Coordinator for the Town of Conception Bay South. Today, I'm joined by my colleague, Brandon Cooney. He's the Sustainability Coordinator with the town. Today's session will assess you when uh, navigating experiences and visitors uh, to the Conception Bay South area. Uh, for those of you who are joining us live today, please use the chat function to send in any questions or comments that you have. Brandon and I will answer questions at the end of the presentation. With all that there, let's begin. So since mid-2019, the town of Conception Bay South has been engaged in a tourism development plan with operators, partners, and stakeholders to build upon existing tourism experiences and enhance the tourism sector within our town. The development plan is implemented by town staff in collaboration with our Tourism Development Committee. This advisory group is comprised of tourism operators, NL tourism staff, and representatives from Town Council, Destination St. John's, Legendary Coasts of Eastern Newfoundland, the East Coast Trail, Hospitality NL, and residents of our community with an interest in tourism. This group provides guidance and brainstorms ideas for enhancing the tourism sector in Conception Bay South. We'd like to talk about the goal that the Town of Conception Bay South has for our tourism sector. Our goal is to position Conception Bay South as the number one day trip destination in the Northeast Avalon region. It's evident that Conception Bay South has a strong tourism ecosystem that is home to key destinations and attractions like Manuals River, Ocean Quest Adventures, and a host of diverse trail systems. The efforts of the town and its tourism committee have been focused on marketing these assets through a number of in-house publications and resources, brokering connections with businesses and tourism operators to encourage the creation of listings on NewfoundlandLabrador.com, and finding opportunities for tourism experience development in nature-based, culture-based, and food and beverage activities. Today's topics for this session will include trails in the town, where we will take an in-depth look at a number of different trail systems in the town. We'll also take a look at events in Conception Bay South, We'll look at the parks, playgrounds, and boat launches you can find in our community. Brandon will share some information on heritage experiences found in Conception Bay South. And lastly, we'll finish with sharing a few resources for visitors and businesses with you and talk about how they can be used to, uh, I guess you'd say, enhance the ability for everyday folks, whether they're frontline staff or just a resident of the town, to engage folks and share information about our tourism sector. Well, let's get started with trails in the town. Conception Bay South is home to several diverse and high quality trail experiences. We have coastal trails, inland trails, and those that can com combine both. We have coastal trails such as the Conception Bay South Trailway, the Gateway Trail, and the Manuals River Trail. We have experiences that link trails with the built pedestrian environment, such as the Downtown Walk and the Gateway Trail. We have accessible trails. A number of our trails in Conception Bay South are accessible to those with disabilities. We have easy routes like Chamberlain's Park. We have more difficult treks, challenging routes, such as Topsail Bluff. We have routes that go out and back, linear routes, if you will. And we also have routes that are looped to come back to the same place. Conception Bay South is home to kilometer zero of the East Coast Trail, which is something that, that not many communities can say, none really, to be fair. And we also have routes with opportunities for stunning photos. Photography is a big part of promotion of tourism experiences here in Newfoundland. And we want the same thing to happen here in Conception Bay South. Conception Bay South is proud of its trails. Uh, the promotion of the trails is supported by a number of resources. Uh, our trails are listed on the tourism map and 2020 street map, which the town has created. We have begun a series of trail videos that are hosted on our YouTube channel. We have listings of our trails on NewfoundlandLabrador.com. And on our ConceptionBaySouth.ca website, we have the Things to Do, do page, which uh, shows a number of the trail items that are, that are included in the town. We have the trails included on our mapping service. And we also have a number of our trails included in visitor itineraries uh, that are located on that Things to Do page. Just a couple safety reminders for all town trails, just so we get these uh, in there right away so people are aware of them. 
Uh, all town trails are non-motorized. Pets must be tethered when using all town trails and please dispose of pet waste in provided containers. Additional info with regards to trail etiquette can be found on our website uh, in the things to do section. As we discuss the trails in today's webinar, the following icons will be used in describing the characteristics of our trails. We want people to know which trails are accessible, which trails have parking areas that are provided, which trails where cyclists are permitted, our coastal trails, our trails that include inclines and steep, uh, steep areas, and also areas where top-notch photo opportunities can be realized. So let's get into uh, some of our trails. First one we want to talk about today is the Conception Bay South Trailway. As you can see, it's accessible, coastal, has parking, cycling is permitted, and has a number of areas for photo opportunities. This is an out and back route, which combines inland and coastal areas. This uh, three and a half to four hour one-way hike will cover about 14.22 kilometers, so about 14 and a quarter. Access points for this trail, you can find them at Manuals River at 7 Conception Bay Highway. You can also access the trailway on town streets that are topped with a yellow or light blue topper that reads trailway access. Parking areas are available throughout the route. They're listed on our tourism map. We ask that you do not park in front of gates on the trailway. They must be kept clear in case emergency vehicles require access. Cyclists must give the right of way on the trailway. We ask that you wear your helmet and also please use a bell to alert uh, fellow pedestrians and fellow cyclists that you're on the trail. There is a number of signs on the trailway in both directions in the downtown CBS business improvement area that direct trail users down streets that connect with Route 60 or the Conception Bay Highway. It's a good option for hikers and cyclists who wish to grab a quick snack or a coffee at one of the cafes or restaurants located in the BIA. If you use the light blue street sign topper to find your way back to the trailway, you can continue your hike on the trailway route. Manuals River Trails are a six kilometer network of out and back riverside walks that head north and south from the Manuals River Hibernia Interpretation Center. The Canyon Trail goes inland while the Ocean Trail goes coastal out to Long Pond uh, Harbor. The duration of these walks is about 45 to 65 minutes. Access points for these trails can be found at Manuals River Interpretation Center at 7 Conception Bay Highway. Parking areas are available on both sides of Route 60. Anyone who uses the overflow parking lot on the north side of Route 60 are encouraged to use the underpass or one of the crosswalks on the roadway to access trails on the other side. Please exercise caution when crossing. As you can note, this is an accessible trail. Grip lever driven uh, wheelchairs are available for rental at the center. This is also a coastal trail. We spoke about the parking, photo opportunities are many here, and cyclists are permitted. The Manuals River Trails are an excellent landscape for bird watching, and there's a number of different guided hikes offered by the center that you can learn, learn more about at www.manualsriver.ca. The East Coast Trail Longshore Path is the start point of the East Coast Trail, and it's located right here in Conception Bay South. The access point for this trail is located at Topsail Beach Rotary Park, where parking is available. The route to the trail is clearly marked with signage. There are some uh, steep parts of the route. As such, it is rated moderate to difficult. It's a linear route that goes out from Conception Bay South and terminates in Portugal Cove, combining inland and coastal elements. The total distance for this walk is 17.2 kilometers one way, and it should take about six to eight hours to do so. Uh, as noted here, uh, Topsail Bluff Trail branches off of the Longshore Path route. So let's speak a little bit more about the Topsail Bluff Trail. As you can see, this is a strenuous hike up a steep hill. However, as you can also see, it's worth it for the view and the photo opportunities that you can pull out there. Again, the access point and parking can be found at Topsail Beach Rotary Park. This is a difficult route that winds through forests and provides access to both the upper and lower bluff. It will take you roughly 45 to 90 minutes to cover the two kilometers out and back. This trail was enhanced as part of upgrades to the Longshore Path, which will officially open to hikers this month. The Gateway Trail is 
according to uh, a number of ideas here, it, it seems that this trail is the one that takes in all of our trail icons. This is the first of two, two trails located in the town that combines natural woodland habitats with the built urban environment. This is a looped route that takes in Sergeant Thomas Ricketts Peace Park, the Gateway Community Garden, and Sergeant Ned Nugent's Recreation Complex. This route follows a dedicated nature trail and utilizes town roads and the trailway to complete the loop back to Kiwanis Club. It's a moderate route. It contains multiple inclines. It's roughly 8.1 kilometers, which will take you about two hours. The access points, the main access point is at the Kiwanis Club located at 925 Conception Bay Highway where parking is available. Uh, please use the crosswalks on Route 60s when you access the trailway via Pond Road and Gully Pond Road and upon your return to Peace Park at 925 Conception Bay Highway. New for 2021, the town has installed branded signage to guide users through the sections of this trail that cover Sergeant Ned Nugent and also the road sections along Route 60. <clears throat> the downtown walk is the newest completed path in the town. And it's a, a, it features a, a newly built trail that's uh, developed between Green Slade's Place and Bishop's Road. The downtown walk is a loop route that utilizes the newly built trail, the trailway, and built pedestrian paths along Route 60 or the Conception Bay Highway. The difficulty here is moderate. The length for the entire loop is 5.3 kilometers. <clears throat> However, uh, you can shorten the route by utilizing the access points using the trail toppers that you, you'll see in the downtown Conception Bay South Business Improvement Area. Other access points, you can find parking at Manuel's River. Uh, you can also utilize the signage along the new trail from the Yacht Club all the way up to Route 60 where it meets Bishop's Road. As, I, as we said, follow the signage on the trailway to shorten your loop by the town roads. You can pick up this route pretty well anywhere along Route 60 between Manuel's River Bridge and Anchorage Road. There's multiple parking areas in the business improvement area besides manual River to utilize. Use the street, street sign toppers to bring you back to the trailway and utilize that new signage to get you from Green Slades Road, Green Slades Place, and into Bishops. Again, please use crosswalks at traffic lights throughout the loop if you want to cross over. The last of our trails that we're going to feature today is Chamberlain's Park. Chamberlain's Park is a 16 acre wetland managed by the Chamberlain's Park Action Committee. Features of this park include a rhododendron garden, an outdoor classroom, and ample green space for picnicking, relaxation, and a particular note bird watching. Chamberlain's Park is one of the most popular areas for bird watching in Conception Bay South, mostly due to this wetland. This is a loop route that follows the trail through the park and a portion of Tupsil Road. It's an easy hike that'll take about one kilometer for the whole loop. Should take you maybe less than 30 minutes, but if you're gonna stop and check out the scenery, maybe perhaps take a quick quick break, have a snack or, or a drop of water. Uh, it's gonna take you about 30 minutes. There are two access points with limited parking for Chamberlain's Park, and they're located at 2608 Topsail Road and also at 17 Chaders Road. Enhancements planned for Chamberlain's Park this year that will complete the board run for the park, thereby providing a looped route contained entirely within the property and users will no longer have to use Topsail Road to complete. As you can tell, we have a number of awesome trail networks here in the town. We're happy to promote them uh, and we're happy that people use them. They're a jewel in our tourism sector and they're an important part uh, of what we do in tourism development here. As you can see, Chamberlain's Park has a number of photo opportunities, especially for birding and is wheelchair accessible. Pre-COVID, our annual events here at the town of Conception Bay South included a number of events. Uh, we have our Winterfest in uh, February each year, our Canada Day celebrations on July 1, Pirate Day is usually a, a summer event that everybody looks forward to here at the town, and of course, Calibre's Fari. We want you to stay informed regarding upcoming events by utilizing the online events calendar found on our homepage and also following the town of Conception Bay South social media channel. We also invite you to consult the events calendar on Manuel's River's website at manuelsriver.ca. This week, they're celebration o celebrating Ocean to Trails Week at the center with a number of safe, fun activities to promote and enjoy our beautiful natural environment. You'll find information on our events on newfoundlandlabrador.com 
but the best place to look for that information is on our the online events calendar. There are 30 plus playgrounds, 30 or more playgrounds located within the town of Conception Bay South. The locations of these playgrounds and parks are on the print and electronic version of the 2020 street map. You can also find them on our interactive mapping service on the town's website. We also want to highlight Sergeant Ned Nugent's Park on Red Ridge Road. It includes a dog park, a skate park, an expansive playground, and a number of sports fields for different uh, activities. We also want to tell you about Topsail Beach Rotary Park, one of our classic, one of the, the beacons, I guess, for tourism here in Conception Bay South for residents of the Northeast Avalon. Here you're going to see some beautiful sunsets. You're going to find some amazing photo opportunities. And you'll also find the trailhead for the East Coast Trail Longshore Path and parking for that path as well as Topsail Bluff Trail. Fire pits are provided at Topsail Beach Rotary Park for you to have a bonfire. We please ask that you exercise caution and utilize the pits. Boat launches in the town include Atkins Road, Cemetery Road, and Greenslades Road public boat launches. These boat launches at these three locations are drop off only. There is no day parking. However, they are free to use. We also have some pay per use uh, or pay for use, I should say, uh, boat launches. One is located in Seal Cove at the ATV stage, staging area. Cost there is $15 per launch, or you can also get a season pass for $50. There's ample parking on site. Fox Track Marina on Del Delaney's Road is again $15 per launch. Their yearly fee, which covers you from April to March each year, is $130, and ample free parking is available on that site as well. Finally, the Royal Newfoundland Yacht Club on Greenslays Road has a dry, dry sale membership uh, required for any person who wishes to use the launch. Uh, this membership will provide access to the launch throughout the year, plus other perks of being a member of the Royal Newfoundland Yacht Club. Uh, the cost for this uh, membership is $1,500 plus HST, uh, that's an annual fee. Uh, you can find contacts for the Seal Cove Boat Launch, the Fox Trap Marina, and Royal Newfoundland Yacht Club on the town's website in the Things to Do section and also on our business directory. We also want to highlight that Fox Trap Marina has an amazing green space. It's an amazing place to stop and have an outdoor lunch with picnic tables and garbage cans provided. Uh, awesome place. Love it. Now I'd like to pass controls over to Brandon, who's gonna let you know about some awesome heritage-based cultural experiences in Conception Bay. All right, thanks Colin. Um, so welcome everybody. Today I just wanna inspire you a bit and pique your interest so you can get out and explore some of Conception Bay South's heritage uh, for yourself and hopefully recommend it to your friends and family and visitors around. Uh, as Colin said, my name is Brandon. I'm the sustainability coordinator here for the town. And my job has four main components. I do a lot of work on climate change and sustainability. Uh, I support the community groups on their various or, or initiatives. Um, and I also do work towards the tourism plan and heritage, which is where it comes in today. Tourism meets heritage for this presentation. So Colin, I'll get you to go to the next slide there. Um, and a bit about Conception Bay South heritage that I never knew before I started working here. I grew up here my whole life and apparently I didn't hear half of the stories that were available to be told but upon reading the different resources and the heritage boards and booklets and stuff there's a ton of stories out there that are definitely fascinating to get a hold of um some include the battle of fox trap there was a battle in fox trap there was also a train crash in manuals uh there's a ton of stuff on the agricultural heritage and early european settlement and of course history uh behind the world famous keller grew soiree Next slide, Colin. So there's endless stories and ways to explore them in CBS. Uh, if you're an outdoorsy type person, an active type person, you can do a self-guided heritage bicycle tour on the trailway. Uh, there's eight heritage storyboards that you'll find from Topsail to Seal Cove along the way. And each board features uh, information and heritage about that area that it serves. Uh, there's also more interpretive storyboards down at Topsail Beach. Um, if you do take the self-guided heritage tour along the trailway, you'll find the Monument of Honor about halfway through in front of the town hall, which is a tribute to those who served and have served. And it's also where we host our Remembrance Day and Memorial Day services. In that same vein, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, Sergeant Thomas Ricketts Memorial Park or Peace Park up at the Kiwanis Club of Kellogg's. 
And we have some ongoing projects like the Manuals River Local History Project, where they're collecting stories from anybody who has a tale to tell about growing up around Manuals River. Uh, if you do have a tale to tell, you can get in contact with me or Manuals River and we'll hook you up. And we also at the town have our own digital storytelling project with stories from our residents, which you can find on the heritage page, which we'll get into more later. But so far we've got six digital stories to tell or choose from uh, so far and counting. So again, if you have anybody, friends or family or yourself, grandparents who has a story to tell, get in contact and we'd be happy to, to capture that for you. Next slide, Colin. <clears throat> so the digital storytelling project is our effort to capture and digitize heritage in Conception Bay South uh, because we're trying to document as much of it as we can virtually. And you might ask, well, why would you do that? And it's all about preservation and accessibility. Um, if it's documented online, it lives there forever and it's accessible to anybody who might not be able to get out on the trailway or maybe someone's moved to Ontario and they're looking for stories of their hometown, well, now they can find it on the heritage page in conceptionbasedhouse.ca. For the digital storytelling project, we're capturing stories from our residents, like I said, and they come in multiple forms or styles. Uh, so there's a slideshow with a narration form that we've done so far. And then there's also more like traditional interview style, like a sit down interview type thing. So you can check those out. If you have anybody who's interested, we can just pick a style based on what they're interested in their comfort level. Um, and we also have an upcoming virtual Topsail Heritage Homes and Gardens Walk. So stay tuned for that. Next slide, Colin. <clears throat> so we're always building upon our heritage resources in Conception Bay South to offer more ways to enjoy and explore the stories of your backyard. I've got some heritage resources listed here that you can check out. We've got physical signage, like the heritage storyboards on the trailway. Uh, we've also got the Topsail Heritage Homes and Gardens Walk wayfinding signage that you'll find along that route. There's also print materials like the heritage booklets. So you can see four of them there in the bottom right corner and they can be purchased at Manuals River. We also have the brochure for the Topsail Heritage Homes and Gardens Walk and the tourism map. <clears throat> Online at the heritage page link there, you can find out more information about the Monument of Honor. You can find and download that Topsail Heritage Homes and Gardens Walk brochure, which is the top left one there. Uh, you can also find more information on the Thomas Ricketts Memorial Park and all those six stories from our residents. And you'll also find the list of designated municipal heritage properties in town. And uh, most of them link to a statement of significance that was written by Heritage NL. So again, like me, I didn't know much about CBS Heritage, but driving around, you do see these properties that look like they must have a story behind them. If you go on the website, you can check them out, check out their heritage statement of significance, and you'll learn more about their history and their pictures are there and what makes them significant in terms of uh, character defining elements. So be sure to check those out. Uh, next one, Colin. So all of this is just to say, get out there, it's yours to discover and share it with everybody you know, your friends, family, tourists, you bump into someone who's from Ontario and looking for something to do, you can tell them that CBS has a ton of heritage resources and activities to experience. And whether it's from your home or on the trails, we've got indoor, outdoor and virtual experiences with more coming all the time. Uh, you might have noticed there's a new interpretive storyboard detailing limestone heritage down at Thompson Beach for you to check out. And coming soon, there'll be a self-driving guiding tour, self-guided driving tour, sorry, for the heritage properties. And again, that'll all be found on uh, conceptionbaysouth.ca. Thank you, Brandon. That's uh, it's an excellent look at heritage experiences here at the town of Conception Bay South and some items you can find. Uh, the last section of our, of our session today is going to show you some resources for visitors and businesses. Uh, first off the hop, we've got uh, the tourism map. So the tourism map focuses on points of interest, fun facts about Conception Bay South, uh, some shops, some food and beverage locations, souvenir shops, all of it in the one place. We have our trails mapped out on this map. We have parking areas listed for them and we have our photo hotspots listed on this as well. So anybody who's looking for that killer photo for their Instagram feed, or for something to send off to CBCNL for the, for the evening news. There's plenty of places to get them in Conception Bay South. The back of the map, as you can see on the left-hand side there, uh, focuses on places to visit and also has mini trail guides, very short, quick and dirties on, on what the trail has, uh, trails have to offer. This resource, resource first debuted in 2020 after discussion with the committee 
and also with staff at the Provincial Visitor Information Centers. An electronic copy is available online on the Things to Do page. Print copies can be found at the Town Hall and the Visitor Information Center at Manuals River and at convenience stores, restaurants, and tourism operators throughout Conception Basin. Next up, we have our street map. Uh, the 2020 street map included enhanced trail mapping and playground park locations. We have an expanded section on the left-hand side, as you can see there, uh, for the manual river trail system. We have enhanced trail guides, so a little bit of an expansion on what we include on our tourism map for all of the trail networks. Uh, Brandon has included the self-guided heritage tour uh, along the trailway in, in this document. And as you also have, there's key telephone numbers just in the case you run into an emergency here. Uh, this resource is our primary print resource reaching out to province visitors. It's our de facto community tourism brochure. It acts in a role as both the map of the entire town and a comprehensive guide to our trails. Uh, and we include as many visitor experiences as we can. Print copies can be found at visitor information centers throughout the province. You can also find this item at the town hall, at Manuals River, convenience stores, restaurants, and tourism operators throughout the Conception Bay South area. Uh, and the electronic copy is available online on our Things to Do page. We have visitor itineraries here at the Town of Conception Bay South, which have been developed by local stakeholders in the sector. They allow visitors to experience the best Conception Bay South has to offer. Uh, in June 2020, we saw our key stakeholders come together in collaboration to create visitor itineraries that highlight all the amazing experiences here in the community. Uh, following our workshop, uh, we worked with our communication staff to refine and polish these trip plans for visitors from far, from far away, and also for visitors in the Northeast Avalon region, closer to Conception Bay South. Uh, this collection of itineraries includes two-day, full-day, half-day itineraries with a wide range of activities such as attractions and places to go. Uh, this collection is not complete. Uh, in 2021, we have new itineraries planned, including a photo scavenger hunt utilizing our photo hotspots, uh, a roadside garden stand tour coming up this fall, and a heritage property self-guided driving tour, as mentioned by Brandon. Uh, our visitor itineraries can be found on the Things to Do page at conceptionbaysouth.ca. The next item we're going to talk about is another brand new item for uh, businesses here at the town. It's going to be our 21, 2021 Community Tourism Snapshot. This new resource for businesses will be released this week. This document will be delivered to the same places you'll find our street map and tourism map. The goal for this resource is to familiarize frontline staff at restaurants, stores, tourism operations, and shops with all things tourism and CVS, so they can confidently tell visitors about the activities and places that make us a destination for travel. One side of the resource is a fairly expansive list of the awesome tourism experiences found in Conception Bay South. You'll find those on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side of this part of the document, you'll find uh, help for visitors and help for frontline staff and business owners to uh, direct people to resources like the maps, our trail videos, our brochures uh, that can guide their trip through Conception Bay South. We've also provided a few highlights and tidbits, basically some wow factors to entice visitors to stay a little longer and explore more of what our community has to offer. The other side of the document offers guidance in interacting with visitors and emphasizes how assisting visitors can lead to positive experiences and positive word of mouth advertising for Conception Bay South and its tourism operations. The town's objective is to drive home the idea that we all have a part to play in tourism development and encourage frontline staff to act as an ambassador for our community. Also included on this side of the document are three carefully selected QR codes that bring visitors and users directly to websites with key information. The QR codes offer a direct link to our food and beverage listings on our business directory. It offers a direct, uh, direct shot to the East Coast Trail webpage for the Longshore Path. And it also provides a tidy way for us to promote our trail video playlist. On the bottom of both sides of this uh, resource, you'll find contact info, social media accounts, and our tourism hashtag. Bear with me one second as I swap over to the other uh, PowerPoint slide. Just give me the one second. All right, back in business. So just to finish off here, we have some online resources that we want to highlight. Uh, on newfoundlandlabrador.com, you can find listings for all of our Conception Bay South-based tourism operators and experiences. 
Uh, they also have an itinerary builder there that'll be able to help visitors plan their trip in Conception Bay South. <clears throat> Might also want to give the search bar a little go with Conception Bay South and see what pops up. Lots of things to do there and lots of things to find on Newfoundland Harbor. On our website, please check out the things to do page. You can find it in the explore section across the top there. You can download our maps and itineraries. You can find local tourism experiences, some capsules of those, and also find our expanded trail etiquette uh, guide. In the services section, you can go to the interactive map and check out our trails mapping. You'll also find our playground and park locations on the interactive map. And finally, in the business section, under the business directory, you'll be able to find contact information and locations for our tourism operators and food and beverage operators. On our social media, we'd like you to check out our trail video playlist. On YouTube, you can search the town of Conception Bay South, and under the playlist tab, you'll find our trail videos. We also want you to interact with us on social media. Please use our hashtags in your photo posts and on your posts about tourism or when you visit some of our sites and operations here in town. Please use hashtag CBS Trails, hashtag Explore CBS, and of course, if you're here in the evening and you get one of our famous hashtag CBS Sunsets, we always want to see that photo and we always share a good sunset when we get it. The other thing we'd like you to do just to make sure that we don't miss any of your posts on social media is to tag us. On Facebook and Instagram, you can tag us using at Town of Conception Bay South. And on Twitter, a little bit of a shorter handle, it's at Town of CBS. Anyone who's looking for contact information for us here at the Town of Conception Bay South, uh, you can uh, reach us at uh, our telephone numbers here. Uh, my extension is 703, uh, the telephone number 834-6500. You can reach uh, Brandon at uh, 705, that's his extension there. Finally, if you want to email us, ask us about something or give us an idea, uh, please send it to ecdev, E-C-D-E-V, at conceptionbaysouth.ca. I want to thank everybody for joining in live today and thank everybody who's uh, joined in for viewing on demand. Uh, we're going to stop the screen share there now, and we're just going to check the chat section, see if we have any questions. Uh, Linda has asked if the slide deck will be posted and available on the CBS website. The deck itself will not be posted, Linda, but we will be posting this recording on the town's YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be sure to put that out to our tourism committee and put that out there to our tourism operators, the same mailing list we use for invites for this one. Um, so that's where uh, this will be available. Um, and there was also uh, somebody who said, great job, folks, very inspiring. That's exactly what we'd like to do. We want to inspire you to explore CBS and encourage others to explore CBS. So that's it for today. I want to thank you again for joining in. Uh, Brandon and I are happy that we have some folks who are interested in tourism and want to learn more. Uh, and everybody, have a great day. And don't forget to hashtag explore CBS. All the best, everybody. Take care.